Hey guys, this is Steve bringing you a quick video tutorial on how to use the Simple Land Calc app that I developed. So you'll see from the setup here over on the left, I have a web page pointed to www.onlinewebpage.com slash simple land calc, which will open up the app that we're going to go through during this tutorial. Over here on the right, I have a copy of Manuel Boucher's Naya Agro Planeswalker deck without land and with a slight modification of minus one Feral Hydra plus one Bane Fire that we're going to use as an example. So you'll see from how I have this laid out, we have a column of all the cards that have a single green in their mana cost, followed by the cards with a single white and then a single red. And then we get into cards that have a double white, Elspeth, and then a bunch of gold Planeswalkers. I'm going to show you how to add all of these cards into this app over here and get an idea of what kind of land mix you want for your deck. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is enter the total number of lands. It defaults to 24, but for this deck, based on Manuel's numbers, we're looking for 23 land. So I'm going to go ahead and set that to 23. Now it's time to actually enter the cards. What we need to do is go through and for each mana symbol that you see for a card in your deck, you're going to want to come over here and up one of these counters to represent the mana cost for your card. So for example, Druid of the Anima has one green in its mana cost. So we're going to come over to the green column and find the single green and tick it up by one. And since we have four copies of Druid of the Anima, we're going to tick it up a total of four times. Then we'll move down to Wild and the Coddle and do the same thing. Four Wild and the Coddles at one green each, so we're going to tick this up four times. Noble Hierarch, the same, giving us a total of 12 single green mana symbols for this column. We move over to white and do the same thing. Four Ranger of Eos plus three Path to Exile is seven single white mana ticks. Banefire, same thing. Four Banefires, one red mana for each, brings that up to four. Now we get over to Elspeth, which is where the double mana symbols come into play. We have four Elspeths. So we're going to come over here to the white, to the double white column and tick that one up four times. Now when it comes to gold cards, a Johnny Vengeon costs a red, a white, and two. So for each four copies, we're going to tick white once and red once. So we're going to go over and total plus four red and plus four white. And we'll do the same thing for Sark and Vol, except he's red and green. So we're going to tick red up two, and we're going to tick green up two. Wooly Thoktar is the same thing except for three colors. We're going to tick each of the colors in our deck, red, green, and white, up four for the four copies of Wooly Thoktar. So four green, four red, four white. Now from here, we're done. All we have to do is click calculate, and the numbers down here will update on the lands to tell you what sort of mix that you want to be playing with.